Today we are going to analyze my own Swiggy data the Swiggy orders that me and my brother have made we are going to use python to drive insights if you are ready for this video let's get started right away first step i'm importing some packages as usual pandas and os and i'm just checking the working directory current working directory and then i have these two data sets items and orders let's see what they have inside i'm just loading them using the read csv command and now let's have a look at the items data set so it has the id order id the name of the item and whether it was is veg like it was vegetarian or not right simple let's look at the orders table orders table has id order id total order amount uh, which restaurant we ordered from uh, basically the date of order order time whether you know rain mode right like whether it was raining heavily not raining raining like slightly and whether order was delivered on time or not right this is the orders data set okay so let's first uh, reload the items data set and we are going to solve some business questions first question we want to find the unique items so in the items data set as you see we have a column called name right so what can we do we can say items of so we can say items of name dot unique if i run this we'll get all the names of the unique items right there are so many as you see but if i want to count the number of unique items what can i do i can so do an unique so we see 164 unique items were there ordered by me and my brother then veg versus non veg there's a column called is underscore veg as you see let's see the distribution so i will simply say items dot group by so i want to group by this column is veg and basically count how many items were there in each so i can just simply say of name dot count now you see zero is veg equal to zero which means there were 12 non veg items is veg equal to 1 180 items and there is something called two uh, i am not sure what this is but there was one item like that probably a dessert or something then third thing show items which contain chicken so lot of names are there let's see which items contain chicken for this what can we do we can find if chicken is contained so let's say new column let's say chicken found okay and it's nothing but items of name dot string dot find of chicken with the capital c now let's see what is there in items so we have a new column so it will show minus 1 if there is no word chicken if there is a word chicken it will show the position where chicken was found now if i want to show the chicken items what can we do could simply say items of then inside we can say items of chicken found not equal to minus 1 okay that will show all the rows where it you know chicken was found and now you see so chicken fried rice burnt garlic chicken rice butter chicken all these are the items these are the 12 rows where we have chicken found in the order then items ordered most times so for this what can we do we need to count by name so i'll simply say items of name and we need to group by so we'll do group by by name and then let me just count the number of ids okay so we'll get all we get like in ascending order so let me assign this to a new data set item new and then i'll just reset the index and now let's see what is there in item new we get like the total right now if i want to sort it by descending order what can i do I can say dot sort underscore values by the column which is nothing but this id and then ascending equal to false i can put that right and then i see okay classic mac and cheese we have ordered the most then paneer butter masala with matra pulav three times and so on cheese corn wrap three times as well now we'll go to the orders data set we need to count the distinct orders let's see 
what is there in the orders data set okay we have this distinct orders what would you do i want to just find the unique order ids right that will give us the answer dot n unique so we have made 95 unique orders as simple as that unique restaurant names let's just load orders table again a uh, restaurant name is a column okay so again what do you do you simply go there and say orders of restaurant underscore name pretty straightforward dot unique and we see all the unique restaurants I think spelling is wrong it's restaurant underscore name we see all the list right we live in chennai so yeah you see a to b adr anand bhavan shri gupta bhavan bombay salva house lot of these restaurant with most orders overall rank so let's see so we want to count the unique orders and do an overall rank of that so how can we go about solving this question so we want to say items dot group by so first we want to do per restaurant name right so restaurant uh, name and i want to count the unique number of orders so i can say dot n unique so this will give per restaurant the unique values and i think restaurant name it's from the orders table not from the items table so i made the silly error see we get a number of orders in each restaurant let us say we call it order new again okay and if i go back here and say reset index cool now we get order new value i think i should have done this yes now we get it right now in this how do we find rank we can create a new column order new of rank and then we can simply say order new of what is this order id uh dot rank we can do that and you can say method equal to first first is like rank and i want to do ascending equal to false let's try this and see how it works and now let's see order new now you get the ranks right i think this should be ascending equal to false like this and now you get the rank okay so if i say now order new of let's see which restaurant gets the rank 1 rank double equal to 1 obviously bowl company because they we have ordered 12 times from that company that's the most right that's the most so it gets the rank 1 so if i sort this i can say order new sort values by this number right so order id and then ascending equal to false now i'll get bowl company which has most number of orders 12 gets rank 1 mansook is second with six orders that's rank 2 and so on so that is how you do rank right it's kind of like rank function in uh, sql as well so we have ordered most from the bowl company 12 unique orders finally we want to find revenue change from 2020 to 2021 so let's load the orders table again one more time okay so we have this data now we have the date but this is let's see what data type it is right now 
as you see it's object data type right order underscore time so we'll first try to change that to like date time so for that i'll just say orders of order underscore time equal to the same thing and then you can say dot apply of pd pandas dot two underscore date time so you can convert it okay now if you say orders dot info you will see order time is a date time as you see now okay so from this we can get the year so orders of let's say year is nothing but this orders of order time right the converted one to date time you can say dot dt dot year and now let's see orders now you'll see the year right 2022 2018 and so on now we have the year right and revenue is nothing but sum of the order total so let's try the next step so we want to group by year and first find the order total right so let's call this orders to new data set so i'll say orders orders dot group by i want to group by year and i want to sum the order total and then of course as usual reset index and now let's see what is there in orders to now each year we get the total total orders order total basically the revenue and we want to find the revenue change from 2020 to 2021 so we have all the data here already what else can we do how do you find change between two years so we can create a new column here orders to and let's call it previous sales this will be nothing that orders to of order underscore total and we have to find the previous value which is like lag in sql we can do that using sh dot shift of one now when we see orders to so obviously 2017 474 there's no previous value 2018 3436 was the total previous year value was 474 and that is what we get and so on right 2022 total was 1677 previous was 11343 and that is what we get here so from 2020 to 2021 we we have increased right from 3442 we've ordered 11343 totally right there's been a big jump so let's see percentage difference so i'll say orders of percentage diff and how would you compute this so you would simply subtract orders total to minus previous sales and divide it by previous sales right this is how we could calculate so as you see it has more than tripled but let's see the values by doing that we are finding the percentage difference and as you see it's 2.29 like more than a 229 percent jump right from 3442 to 11343 right that's the percentage change in 2019 to 2020 you see it's negative because it's dropped from 7484 to 3442 i hope you enjoyed the video uh, tell me in the comments what is your favorite item which have you ordered the most of times in swiggy if you enjoyed the video stay till this point do subscribe to this video share it with your friends stay tuned for more practical python sql power bi and excel projects till i see you in the next video have a nice time bye take care